Hey everybody, we're back at McDonald's to go through the drive-thru again, this time to check out one of their Angus burgers that are currently available, the Aussie Barbecue Angus. Uh, in the past we've had the Angus McOz and the normal McOz, yeah. so there's a bit of a variation on those themes with this barbecue sauce and a few other bits and pieces. Let's go through the drive-thru and let's find out. Hi, can I please take it off? The Aussie Barbecue Angus Burger. Thank you. Yeah, was that a meal by itself? Just on its own, thanks. No problem, just try it Thank you. Yes, well, there you go. 100% Angus Beef Burgers from McDonald's. Interesting to see that they're going with the whole leaf lettuce. Straight away, that's, that's going down well in my books. McDonald's classic cheese. I wonder what that is. Something like American cheese, perhaps. Uh, Angus beef, of course, and two sauces. Got the barbecue sauce, which is part of the name, but also they've got in the aioli sauce. So there'll be a bit of a, a garlicky thing happening there. A slice of tomato, a rasher of bacon, the, a chili chive bun. You can see a bit of it there. Now, it also should have some beetroot, which is not mentioned on the outside, but being a good, uh, being a good Aussie burger, we should find some beetroot inside here. I hope it's there. Ah, oh, yes, I can see it already. There's that chili chive bun. So the difference between the old uh, Angus McOz uh, two years ago, I'll put the video up here, the link to it, so you can check it out for yourself. But immediately the bun is different. Uh, the old one had red onions. This one is supposed to have grilled onions. The sauces are different. I think the old one had tomato sauce and mustard. We've got aioli and barbecue sauce. Um, the old one had uh, the, the, the lettuce is different. Uh, so there you go. What do they say inside about this whole thing? The Aussie Angus, we could, who could resist a great Aussie barbecue with beetroot, rasher of bacon, barbecue sauce and aioli, uh, a whole leaf lettuce and a slice of McDonald's classic cheese. So there you go. They don't even mention, oh yes they do, sorry, the beetroot. Oh, the beetroot is so important for us Aussies. Let's have a look at it. Get it out of there. Whole leaf lettuce, check that out. I love that idea. Beetroot, meat, cheese, cheese melted into that Angus beef patty. And uh, the two sauces. No sauce on the bottom, the sauce is all on the top. So there you go. Looks pretty decent. How does it compare with what's online? Mm -hmm. Looks like a decent offering to me. The price was pretty decent as well, $7.65, the old one was $6.95, so it's only gone up slightly in price, and uh, I think that's pretty good for two years ago, that's keeping up with inflation without going overboard, let's check out what it tastes like. I do like the Angus patty. I much prefer from McDonald's the Angus patty over their normal patty. And it actually is a aioli sauce. I know from a recent offering from KFC, the advertising was all about aioli sauce, but in the end it turned out to be just plain mayonnaise. So if they advertise something, we should receive it. And McDonald's have done the right thing here. We are actually getting aioli sauce, or I have anyway. <laughs> I wonder what you might get when you get yours. But anyway, let's go for a bit of that beetroot. Beetroot is the Australian name for red beets or beets and uh, is quite a big favourite amongst Aussies to have in as an ingredient of your burger. So I would imagine that this would be a reasonably popular burger from McDonald's. Combination of flavours is working really well together here cheese, the beetroot, that bit of tomato, which I haven't actually discovered yet, it's out the back here, whoa, oh, I don't want to lose it all, stop playing with your food, Jeffrey, yes, I hear you, oh, 
dear. Uh, I better just keep eating, I think. Now, I had not picked up that McDonald's were offering these two new Angus burgers until I saw a recent review from James AM. So if you want to hear and see what he thought of this burger, go and check out his video as well. Look at all that lettuce. Wow, I do like my lettuce uh, in my burger. And um, there's quite a substantial amount in there. I have to do the flip with this one because it's getting out of control. A very large slice of tomato. Wow. Well, there's certainly been some generous offerings in this burger. A big piece of tomato, lots of lettuce. Sauces are everywhere, like normal with McDonald's. It's just oozing all sorts of things happening. Barbecue sauce and aioli is going everywhere. Ah, managing to keep it off my face, fortunately. And I love that bit of bacon. That's great. The one thing that I'm not seeing a lot of is those grilled onions. Where are the grilled onions, McDonald's? This The same thing happened with the Clubhouse Burger. They, they could do with those grilled onions. You shouldn't have to ask for a, an extra dose of grilled onions. It should just be in there. Anyway, now on their packaging it does not mention the grilled onions, but I'm almost certain that on the website it says grilled onion. I'll check that out, but I'm pretty sure that's what it says. There's definitely nothing or very little of it in here. Well, that's a good offering. I would have liked to see the grilled onions, or at least some onions, red onions maybe, as a bit of a salad. Uh, the rest of it is actually really good, and um, the Angus beef is just so much better than the normal beef patty that uh, McDonald's offer us. So, a decent burger. This is going to go up there with close to one of my favourites from McDonald's. Just wish there'd been some grilled onions. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> okay, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye. Mm. Now I'm angry. Wow. It's huge.